Well, virtual is fine, but now it's time to soar again, and you're hearing it for the first and only time here on WLWT. How about this? The Flying Pig Marathon is officially back in person, and tonight we talked exclusively with the president and CEO of the pig. WLWT News News anchor Stephen Albritton here now with more on the return of a Cincinnati tradition. Yeah, Mike and Cherie, we've waited, we've hoped, and now we are here tonight. We spoke exclusively with Iris Simpson Bush about the return of the Cincinnati tradition after what seemed like a marathon year without the marathon. As of October 29th through the 31st, flying pig events will be returning in person. Canceled, pushed to virtual, and now back again. The Flying Pig Marathon will be hitting the streets of Cincinnati Halloween weekend. We know that 2021 can't look exactly like the Flying Pig has looked in the past, but we are so excited to be coming back in person. Iris Simpson Bush, executive director of the Flying Pig, says they are thrilled to get back to running, but still have details to work out, especially with guidelines changing often during this COVID-19 pandemic. I really think that it's fair to say we have held off this long because safety measures for our participants, our volunteers, the community at large is of primary importance. She says they've spoken to the health department and will continue to be advised as they creep closer to the in-person return. As for the runners themselves, Simpson Bush says they're expecting a lot of new faces. Research says that we are, the industry is likely to attract a lot of newbies because for many people, it's the only thing they could do during the pandemic. And hope this international event will be a step toward normalcy. Call it a return to flight. This year, we plan to soar. Simpson Bush tells me part of the reason for Halloween weekend is that they have the convention center reserved. Also, if you're one of the 5,500 participating in the virtual event, you'll have first crack at registering for the fall in person event. Registration for the general public will open up on May 10th. Stephen Albert and WLWT News 5. All right, Stephen, thank you. Oh